radical changes are very concerning to one Boise man who arrived in the city of Trees as a Syrian refugee. Shai Mishmael says he found peace and acceptance in the Treasure Valley after escaping persecution from his own family who tried to kill him for being gay. And now with President Trump planning to bar Syrian refugees, he says the president is likely signing a death notice for innocent people just like him. Six on your side's Lacey Darrow joins us live in studio with the exclusive. Don Michelle, Shadi Ishmael says he can understand why President Trump is fearful for the safety of America, but he says refugees like himself would fight and die for the country that accepted them. I feel I'm doing my part and I deserve to be here like anybody else. If you bring me to your country, I will build this country, not destroy it. Shadi Ishmael arrived in the Treasure Valley nearly five years ago after escaping his war-torn homeland. Flew Syria because I am gay and my family tried to kill me, so I ran away from there. He says America gave him a new life, new opportunities and safety, something he fears the new president will take away from other refugees. If you see what happened in Syria or any uh, uh, country have war like now in Syria, this is the big war happening, where we're gonna go? Where, where they wanna do? Like you sign them to die, like you tell them, oh, 10,000 people die because they have no place to go. Shadi says after applying to the refugee program, it took him four years to be accepted. Four years of intense background checks, psychological exams, and countless interviews. Something he says terrorists don't have time for. They will not wait for three years or four years to get approved. They will come, come here like v, uh, business visa. He says refugees are women, children, and people just like him who are fleeing for their lives. He says they're not here for handouts, but rather a peaceful night's sleep. And I believe everybody coming here as a refugee coming just to live, just to have real life, not being today. I don't know if I will, my house will be explode or tomorrow I will see my kids or not. I don't know if I send my son to the store to buy a bread if he will be back or not. Shadi says he's extremely proud to be an American, to pay taxes, and to do his part for his new country. But he's fearful the America he longed to be a part of is changing. I believe America, American country, it's always say freedom, always love, always help, always accepting. And now I feel like, no, like the Statue of Freedom, it's gone. It's, 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 it's like disappearing little bit by little bit. And I surprise how a lot of people support what he's thinking. And I'm really shocked. Shadi says he is fearful that one day he could get a knock on the door and be forced to leave the country. But he says he's working on his United States citizenship. Live in studio, Lacey Darrow, six on your side.